The 2023 Mercedes GLE class is a sort of send-off for the model as it has received updated front and rear styling, new standard features and options for the performance AMG models, and all models will use a 48-volt mild hybrid system that serves as a starter-slash-generator. While the 2023 iteration won't grab the headlines of the refreshed 2024's debut, the Mercedes GLE class is still a harmonious blend of TriStar luxury with everyday practicality. Additionally, the GLE provides a bevy of powertrain options, a well-appointed and pragmatic cabin, plenty of options to enhance the onboard experience, and, unlike many of its rivals, some off-road ability. Still, the GLE requires deep pockets. But for those seeking a luxury family hauler slash everyday practical commuter, this Mercedes SUV certainly fits the bill. There is seemingly a power plant for everyone in the GLE, from commuters to enthusiasts. The base GLE 350 is motivated by a 2.0 liter turbocharged inline 4 offering 255 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque good enough for a 0 to 60 time of about 7 seconds. The base model is the most efficient model at 22 combined MPG, but that's the same figure for 450 versions. The 450 models are fitted with a turbocharged inline 6 delivering 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The top non-AMG model is the 580 with a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 shelling out 483 horsepower. Both the 450 and 580 also include a mild hybrid system that can provide up to 21 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of additional torque in short bursts. AMG also offers the GLE 53 and GLE 63S in either standard or coupe SUV forms. The GLE 53 is fitted with a 3.0-liter turbo inline 6 with 429 horsepower with the 63S cranking out an eye-popping 603 ponies from its twin-turbo V8. The 63S version needs just 3.7 seconds to hustle from 0 to 60 miles per hour. No matter the engine choice, the GLE shifts its gears through a 9-speed automatic. Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive is optional on the 350 model and standard on all other versions. Ride quality can be enhanced with Mercedes Adaptive Air Suspension, which can monitor the road ahead to predict jolts and jostles, but the GLE still isn't perhaps the most supple over rough pavement. Still, it provides a mostly comfortable ride. And as off-road capability becomes a rarity even among SUVs, an adjustable suspension can help the GLE take the path less traveled. The GLE 350, 450, and 580 models won't catch the attention of those passing by, but the GLE does sport understated but handsome styling. The dinner plate-sized Mercedes logo on the rounded front intake, standard 19-inch wheels, 20-22 inch wheels are optional, dimpled hood, and ingrained dual exhausts provide a sophisticated appearance. The 580 model sports a more aggressive front fascia to hide its V8. Opting for either of the AMG models can radically change the GLE's outward appearance with the option of a fastback coupe body style. The GLE coupe models do infringe on passenger and cargo space but they certainly are more prone to grab attention with their fastback styling and more aggressive front and rear fascia. The GLE delivers the upmarket feel expected of the TriStar with top-notch fit and finish, plenty of creature comforts, and modern styling. The dash is highlighted by dual 12.3-inch displays that serve as the infotainment screen and digital gauge cluster residing above trim made from either wood, metal, metallic weave, or open pour ash wood. Synthetic leather upholstery is standard with several genuine Napa leather options available. A 64-color ambient lighting system is also standard. The steering wheel features a bevy of touch-capacitive buttons, and Mercedes MBUX system with voice control is surprisingly accurate. Drivers simply state, hey Mercedes, give their input and let the car do the rest. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, inductive wireless charging, and Sirius XM Radio are all standard. 
A notable optional feature is augmented video for navigation, which displays street name signs and other useful information imposed on a live feed of the GLE's travels, aiding in navigation. A head-up display, for zone climate control, Burmester 3D surround sound system, and a slightly gimmicky interior assistant with gesture control can also be added. The GLE seats five comfortably, but those needing to haul more people at the expense of cargo space can do so with an optional third row of seats. With several models from which to choose, along with a long list of optional features, the GLE comes with a wide range of prices. The base 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLE class, with rear-wheel drive, I.E. The GLE 350 starts at $57,700 without destination with the top-of-the-range AMG GLE 63S Coupe nearly cresting the $120,000 mark. Though there are several price options between those figures, most buyers are unlikely to not add any options, as some sought-after features are only included in add-on packages. Then again, the same can be said for the GLE's two closest rivals, the BMW X5 and Audi Q7 as well. The Mercedes GLE class swims in a sea of competitors in the luxury mid-sized SUV market. It faces off squarely against its established competition like the BMW X5, Porsche Cayenne, Volvo XC90, and Audi Q7, the more niche Land Rover Discovery, Maserati Levant, or off-roading Lexus GX, and relative newcomers like the Genesis GV80 or Cadillac XT6. However, the GLE most closely aligns with the X5 and Q7 for the price, powertrains, standard and optional features, and the prestige of a German badge. All three models start around $60,000, and their pricing remains consistent as you go up in power or prestige. The X5 is the most efficient of the group with 21 city-25 highway MPG and base models, but it is also far more powerful than the base GLE with 335 horsepower. Meanwhile, the Audi is slightly larger, but it offers less cargo space behind the front seats and its third row of seats is standard. The three luxury German SUVs are also closely aligned in technology and standard driver's aids. The Q7 employs a 10.1-inch infotainment touchscreen with a second, smaller screen on the center stack, while the X5 uses the same 12.3-inch dual-screen setup as the Mercedes.